Hello, this is Francisca, and I would like to show you a little more about our online writing course called The Right Stuff. This is a course designed for advanced ESL students that are transferring from adult school to community college or into the GED high school uh, equivalency program. So the first thing we need to do is go to the website where the courses um, are located and this is adultedcourses.org. Now this is um, the OTAN website and there are several courses, all your schools and so on that are in here. I'm going to show you, well the first thing you need to do, let's go over here, I need to log in. If you do not have a Moodle account you would just go to create new account and it'll walk you through the process and you'll have to confirm in your email in order to have access to this site but since I already do, I just need to put my password. And I'm getting a funny message there. I'm going to go log in. Hopefully I typed my password correctly. Yes. Okay, so OTAN has um, other shared courses. This The course that um, I designed, The Right Stuff, is on this site. So I'm going to take you through the um, sample course because this is where you will go to look at it. So I'm going to scroll down to the right stuff right here and we'll open that up. So this is the course and you can, as we scroll down, there's an introduction. The course has 10 units. It begins with, and there's some student instructions on how to use the course. These are videos. The ones up in this folder are PDFs that cover the same instructions that are in the videos. And a little bit about what kind of technology requirements, basic skills. There's also a course book. Um, this is a nice outline of what's covered in this course. So I'm going to go through it this way instead of scrolling all the way down. So it starts off with just basic parts of a sentence, you know, subject, verb, object, and so on, agreement, word order, capitalization, punctuation, so these are just basic sentence writing and here's a definition of what sentences actually are and what they contain. And then the next section which starts with Unit 6 is all about conjunctions. So we're going to be looking at both um, subordinating and coordinating conjunctions and how to use them and some here's some cause effect. Some other transitionals, so these are all the different kinds of transitions that we use for example, if you have a space location, there's a list here of uh, phrases or words that we use that define that. Time sequence words, um, another list, and some explanation and examples. And as the course goes on, it has um, more about paragraphs. So this is all about writing a paragraph, what it contains, topic sentence, supporting details, and so on. So back to the front of the course, to go back to the main front of the course, you just go to the name of it here, the right stuff. So by the end of the course, if I just keep scrolling down and pardon all this, you know, there are, these topics are closed, but when you click on them, it will open up everything that's there. So it goes all the way to the 10 units. By the 10th unit, students are writing a three paragraph essay. And we go over some of the types of formal writing, descriptive, persuasive narrative, and some informal type of writing that they will be looking at here. So let me just show you what a typical unit looks like because they're all built the same. Um, let's try topic three. So topic three is on coordinating conjunction, so I'm going to open it up. Give it a second here and scroll down to where that is. So this is topic three opened up. So all of the topics or units are built in the same way. There's an introduction that just talks about what the unit is about. There's a vocabulary section and games here. This is using Quizlet. Um, these don't actually report into the gradebook, but it's a way for students to practice. And then there are lessons. These are videos um, really over PowerPoints, but that explain what these things are, coordinate conjunctions, the kinds of sentences. And then this is the section where students practice. So there are several types of activities. If you're familiar with hot potatoes, there's several of those. And these do report into the gradebook in uh, Moodle. There are quizzes. These little check marks are quizzes. And then there's some writing activities that the teacher needs to grade. 
and then just a review at the end where they have to practice uh, the vocabulary and sentence structure that's covered in this particular unit. And then there's usually some sort of forum uh, discussion here, so writing in your language, and if you open that, students can, you know, there's a question here, students can respond and then respond to the teacher, respond to each other. So that's what the course entails, and so I just wanted to give you a little overview of what this course looks like and hopefully you will be able to use it with your students. All you need to do is ask OTAN for your own copy and you're welcome to use it since it is a shared course. Thank you for listening.